So hello everyone. Today we are going to start our new chapter in our new first construction book that is frame B B B. And in this we are going to take a look on. Uh, we will try to imagine that what is the frame, what is the B, what is the B B. We have the like spinal cord as a skin plate and the ribs as its our uh, uh, frame. So like that you can imagine what does the frame? Frames are just the uh, just all the basic structure of the ship. Uh, after that our ship is uh, built. After that we have what is deck beam, what is uh, upper deck and all. So here this is our deck beam. Like as in our floors, like uh, as in our floors below it uh, we have the beams in our floors. So uh, The uh, same the beams are there in the ship uh, below the floor. So these are the deck beams. For the knees, what is a beam knees? Beam knees are just these pointed structure. Like a, uh, like we have this is our ship, and these are the structure which is uh, uh, given which, which is added to the ship to make uh, to give a good strength to its floor and the side walls. To give the good strength to the floor and side walls, for that we are the beam knees used. I will show you a one of the original deck beams. Uh, like uh, How these uh, knees are uh, in the ship. So this is just a uh, beam knee actually uh, in the ship. So can you see how much hard and uh, big it is? After that, uh, we have another topic that is transverse framing and longitudinal framing. So in transverse framing, what we uh, know? Transverse framing, we just know about like uh, the framing which does the framing which is done according to the Uh, transversely of the ship, like uh, one by one, one by one, transversely of the ship, and you can think uh, of transverse framing as x-axis of the ship. For the uh, for another one that is longitudinal framing, for that it is what is the y-axis of the ship. For x-axis of the ship, all these frames are added one by one, one by one, one by one. For the longitudinal frame, these are uh, like for longitudinal frame you can think of it as y-axis of the ship. That is the longitudinal frame. So in transverse framing, how it is done? This is one of the figure that is for transfer framing. Here you can see these all these are compact structures surrounded by the ship to give it a to give it a compact and hard structure. And these some of the beams are added to to make it a bit more uh, efficient. So in transfer framing, main uh, motive is that to give to these are not uh, used in the ships which have a which have bit amount of like uh, those are have more length. It means. Only the ships which have the length less than one twenty meter, uh, only in those ships transfer framing framing was used. It it is used because to give uh, because in the small ships they are more they have more racking stress. They they can be they can be tilted at any side uh, easily. So to just save that uh, transfer framing is used in our uh, ship which which have less uh, which have less uh, length. So another we have the longitudinal frame. So in longitudinal framing, what is that? They have the um, in longitudinal framing, the frames are bit of uh, they have the distance between the frames. They give the distance between the frame and also give a lot of uh, beams and uh, lot lot of beams in its sides. So when they give lot of beams in its sides, they, they give less uh, they give less uh, circular these uh, frames. So with that, they can uh, give a lot of distance to the longitudinal part of the ship with that transfer part. And after that, there is also one of the more type of that is combined framing. In that, now our these ships are made with the thinking of combined framing. In that, they think of like uh, the ship which are made by uh, both as transversely good and longitudinal good. So that is the just another key. What is the importance of beam knees? So beam knees located at the end of the deck beam uh, that connect uh, that connect the beam and the frame to the shell plating. Like this is our uh, this is our uh, ship shell plate and this is the floor. So they just give the strength to this part. So they are the just beam knees. As I have uh, shown you a picture of beam knees, that is uh, this. So this is our original beam knee in the ship. Which this is the floor of the ship. This is the side plating of the ship. So this is just give a strength to the side plating and the floor. Okay.
So after that we have what is watertight bulkheads. This is the, some of the students not able to understand it. So watertight bulkheads are just the vertically framed uh, things, uh, vertically framed uh, design in the ship to give uh, the, so that the, if uh, ship get uh, collide with something, so that the water cannot flow in hold the ship. This one by one, one by one, they have the proper, uh, they have the proper watertightness of, uh, um, by their container by container and all. So water type bulkheads are, uh, I'll show you one of the picture of what, how water type bulkheads are looks like. So this is the original water type bulkhead of the ship. You can see how these, uh, this is uh, a type of, that is corrugated water type bulkheads. Here you can see how this is made and how big it is. So these are the uh, frames which are used one by one, one by one in the ship. About five to six water type bulkheads are used in the ship to make it efficient if the if any part of the ship uh, got filled with water so another part cannot be. That is their main use. This is uh, this picture defines some of the water type bulkheads like one uh, this is our ship and one, two, three, four, five. You can see the five water type bulkheads are made. So they give a separate section to or to complete ship. So we will take a look on what is collision bulkhead. So collision bulkhead is a heavy duty water type bulkhead in the foremost of the vessel to withstand damage after impact from the collision. Like as in definition written here. So collision bulkheads are just mainly used after the four peak tank to give uh, our boat strength to the ship like this is the picture that can uh, give you. Like this is our ship, this is the collision bulkhead. So uh, collision bulkhead's main work is uh, if the ship got uh, collide with anything. So it can save the ship, uh, it can save the remaining ship. It is the, uh, it is the uh, like you can say, it is the thickest uh, bulkhead in the ship, which uh, is uh, also uh, too much efficient, so it can also get the load. And after it, we just have a, a peak tank, four peak tank. In four peak tank, we have a resistance local and different things are uh, because it also gives a space to the ship, so it can also arrange some of the different things here. So you can see this is the our uh, collision bulkhead, and uh, some stickers and uh, paintings are used. Painting is just uh, not a hard part. It's just if you have a special type of uh, if you have a special type of transfer scheme, that is just painting. And for vertical stickers, these are just upper stickers which are vertically designed in the ship. So just a special hard and rough type of stickers. These are just for painting. So this is the transfer view of the uh, water title kit. Now I will show you the original uh, how it looks. So here this is our uh, actual what is uh, our uh, like what is our collision bulkhead. So as you can see it is a big rough and tough collision bulkhead which is uh, used in this ship. It is also a type of corrugated bulkhead. As uh, you can see here, these are the sections coming out and here is uh, going down. It is coming out, going down, coming out, going down. Like this, these are the whole the uh, bulkhead is made. Because in older time when they are uh, made at the same place, at that time uh, most of the things happen like it is more corroded. They, if it's one of the part of it that got uh, damaged, then whole plate should be removed. So to, uh, to just got saved from that, they use these type of, uh, these type of st structures. So this, this is just uh, this is just a definition of it like a horizontal bulkhead. So they have said you can have a, so it just uh, give you like uh, how how it is good from uh, our plain bulkhead. From plain bulkhead is good because it uh, it will not get corroded easily. It just give you some uh, it just also give you some advantage like it has lower mass. Its maintenance is also easier. So just a small things are there. Another we have, uh, this is the another section of the upper ship construction chapter that is bilge key, ballast tanks and bilges. So these are all different things. Now we will take a look on one by one. First we have bilge key. So bilge key is the uh, structure that is given to the ship outside uh, inner, uh, outside the ship below part so that if the rolling in the ship is going on to maintain the rolling we use the bilge key. To maintain just the rolling, we use the bilge key, that's just not the bilge key. Uh, bilge key, these are the plates, these are the plates which is used, we call as a key, bilge key. So, they just give you, uh, they just give you a stability from the rolling, only for that they are used. Now here I will show you what is the double bottom tank. Double bottom tank, it is not a hard, it is actually, it, this is the uh, last plate of the ship and it's from here our ship is starting. 
So the distance between the ship uh, lower most layer and the uh, and the tank top. Like this is our tank top, and this is the last uh, last layer from the base. Uh, sorry, the keel plate. So the distance between there, uh, it is these tanks are called our double bottom tank. So they just give a uh, uh, more efficient to the ship because our cargo in the ship should not get uh, humid and all different types of temperature given to them. So just to save for them. After this, we have the four feet tank. So this is our four feet tank. Like this is our foremost part of the ship. This is the bulbous go, and this is the four feet tank. So in four feet tank, generally they don't uh, use that ballast tank because they, they use chain locker and different type of things. After the four feet tank, we have our uh, aft feet tank. So here, if you can see, this is our uh, aft of the ship. Here, this is our uh, uh, like rudder and all. So rudder and uh, some of the things like that. So our feet tank they are also used as sometimes as ballast tanks because they can water in that uh, to make the ship as good as uh, uh, good stability. First, I will tell you about what is ballast is. Here you can see how ship is taking out this water from the different part. Like this is the this is the uh, back uh, like arm arm feet ballast tank from where water is coming. This is the side ballast tank. So ballast tanks are those tanks in which water is filled when the ship is uh, when the ship is empty. So what they do, they just give our ship a uh, good stability. So when uh, the ship is empty, so the uh, ship should have that much of water or weight so that it can be that much sunk in the water so that uh, the, our propeller in the ship can move easily. Thus, that's the main use of ballast tank. How they are used in our ship? Then you can see this is our ship. And in the side plates from the uh, from the sides, our ballast tanks are there. So in sides, they generally fill the water. They are filled with water when the ship is empty, and uh, the water is taken out when the ship is got um, filled up with our uh, cargo. Head. In this picture, you can see how ship is taking out the water from the side ballast tank. These are the side ballast tanks. Now here, there you can see this ship is going to uh, take out its water and going to load, uh, like uh, it is going to load in there. So there is a different uh, rules and regulation for uh, taking the water, take out the water to maintain the bio and environment of our sea. After that, we have bilges. So, bilges is the lowest space of the ship, uh, is the area where the two sides of the ship meet. The corner of the lowest compartment of the ship constitute a bilge. You can see a bilge uh, compartment if you go to the corner of the lowest platform of the ship uh, in your room. Like if I'll show you a picture of it. Here you can see. Here these compartments are adding to one another. This is our ship engine. So why these villages tanks are used? Because all the dirt and water which is not good. They all dirty water all the fill in this in this uh, side side villages. So these tanks are called villages uh, villages well. So all the Indian boom oil and have different kind of dirty water which is not able to, uh, that we cannot throw directly into the sea. So that all we uh, added it here. Actually, I'm here looking. I'll show you a picture. This is how actually a uh, this is how actually a base tank is. Here, if you can see, this is the side base tank. The thing you are seeing here, like it is bent here, the same it is here, like this. These are the these are the like uh, these are some spaces where from the water can be fed into the uh, into our bridges. So just that. So thank you for watching. If uh, if for any suggestion, please comment. Thank you.